Hi there, this is Andrea with Catch the Fire Worship Flags, and you're watching the weekly for October 17th. This is your weekly encourage, worship encouragement to help you elevate your praise to the next level. So I, if only you could see what it takes to actually get this part done. It is kind of comical, but I'm not going to bore you with all the details. It's a sunny day, so I'm not going to complain about the sunlight or the sun in my eyes or trying to find a place that works. Uh, so today, and I, and in all of that confusion, I forgot my notes that I was wanted to share with you. And instead of running back to the house and worrying about my camera falling off again, I just decided I think I can remember. So we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, rem, I'm gonna remind myself mentally. And Rosie, hopefully, when Rosie sh shows up, she'll be able to to help me and remind me. All right. So your your weekly encouragement. Are you a trust fund baby? I have been just toying with this idea of being a trust fund baby. I want to be a trust fund baby. I live in a very, very affluent area and we are not. We just happen to live here and yet my son is now going to a, a, a public school that is has probably more wealth than the private school that he went to previously in the Christian school uh, and he is surrounded by all of this wealth and, and it, it starts to affect our it, it affects how you think about yourself and and as I've been watching in the fire catchers group and in what the prayer requests are and just people that have been coming up telling me some some of their stories and sharing their stories and I thought you know what we really all need to be trust fund babies as in trusting the Lord that he will actually take care of us that he will provide the funds that we need he will provide the healing that we need he will provide the job that we need the fulfillment and everything about that that as you actually put into your fund trust and you begin to trust him and trust him even more that that fund grows and so that when you actually need to take a deposit it's there and I mean, we all say that we have great trust and great funds, but I remember even with Catch the Fire worship flags and when I decided that I needed to have a, I needed to have a set amount of revenue in a month, it was so nerve wracking for me to be able to say, I absolutely need this and I'm going to trust you, Lord, for this and to do even more. And so I, I look back at that because I was able to trust him and that was several years ago. I was able to trust him with that little bit of money that I needed. Then as the business grows and the, and the needs grow and the vision grows, I have to trust more and more. But because I have that history, because I have the trust fund in it that I've been that I've been faithfully putting putting trust into in him because he is trustworthy then I am able to move forward and likewise you if you it's it's about the it's about hi Dorothy it's about adding to the account and it doesn't all come if you if you want million dollar faith you're not going to start start with a hundred dollar faith do you have faith that God is going to provide a hundred dollars for you? Do you have faith that God is going to actually give you that job with the increase? And I love in the fire catchers group that we've been, that we have been celebrating some of the wins. I know Gilda Robinson, she got a new job and she got a new job that, that paid her more. So we're celebrating that. And, and if you are familiar with our friend Angel Purdy in our group, she has been healed of cervical cancer. I'm going to talk about that in just a little bit. Uh, so she has trust. So, you know, she's bold. I see her coming into this boldness because she knows that God is good, that she knows that she can trust him. And that's where it all comes from. So we just have to trust. And if you follow me on Instagram today, the one of the quotes that I had put up there was Isaiah 43, 19, for I'm about to do something new. What is he doing in your life? This is true for me. It's true for you. So I encourage you, think about how much are you trusting? Are you actually adding to your trust fund so that you too can be a trust fund baby? 
Moving on a little bit more, I just want to say uh, the events that are coming up. How are things going with the Gratitude Challenge? If you're in the Firecatchers group, you know that we're posting daily. I'm loving that, what I'm seeing. And, and if you're hitting a wall, if you're finding that it's difficult or you're like, you're not remembering to do it, let me know how we can help you, how we can encourage you. Uh, we're going to see changes and I'm looking forward to the testimonies at the end of the seven weeks at Thanks American Thanksgiving when we, when we are able to see and actually see differences in our life. Uh, upcoming we have the book club next Friday, so that's the 26th. We've shifted it up to 6 p.m., not 6.30 Pacific Standard Time. We have a special guest that's going to be joining us and I think that you're going to have fun with that and we also had the Firecatchers classroom just last week Rosie taught that was really great and it's in the Firecatchers classroom it's up and ready for you with the notes so I'll link to all of these things uh, I wanted to let you know what's trending it's actually been all over the place this week from from what the sales have been uh, just slightly edging out actually father's heart and fire two of our best sellers which are always just beautiful flags and they are in my flag bag actually father's heart's always in my flag bag fire I tend to actually give away that's the seems to, just right out of my hands it, it goes so I actually don't even have a fire flag myself at the moment but those are the two trending and I wanted to let you know that knowledge of the glory which is if you've watched angels video that Surv Survivor did. It's just a professionally looking piece of, of testimony. It's so incredible and it's going everywhere. Like this is not for a Christian audience. It's going everywhere and just she is testifying about the goodness of God and her healing and in the video she uses knowledge of the glory worship flags. They're just so beautiful and uh, just as as a desire because we are on fire to build his kingdom and that's the kingdom around you and in you and you need to be alive for that to be happening so we want to participate with what survivors doing and with what angels doing we love her she's such a blessing to me she's such a sister that every that five percent of the sale of any knowledge of the glory worship flags will be donated to survivor cervical cancer research and development and so currently right now it's available as a travel flag uh, and just like an fyi this is you're going to get see it in the next collection so that's coming speaking of the next collection identity i don't want to diminish dim, the identity collection loving that hidden treasures is the featured flag this month the hidden which is part of the identity collection all of that's going to be going back into the vault on October 31st so don't wait get your flags we'll post the links and then we have I've been working on the next collection already so that's exciting look for that in November lots of things actually happening in November so be watching and and my notes but oh <laughs> the very thing that I came out here I had to actually have some more space so I, I have been noticing that some questions about the in the group um, and in and around so I wanted to let you know how to best take care of your worship flags so that they last the longest so I'm gonna back up a little bit and it's really just about how the storage of them and even in the use but I'm gonna back up I've got my little box of goodies you can see me yeah okay so I'm gonna start first with our with our these are the single layer now all of the flags well I'll show you how to fold them how I fold them so that they'll stay uh, well now these are the flexible ones now these can absolutely be cared for and, and stored this way so what you would do with the rod is that you would bend them bring them to a point here hold that and then wrap with the, the material wrap it around to create this pocket and then stuff that little tail in. Of course, it's not gonna work now because I'm on camera, but it will actually store like this. This is fine if you wanna store it like that. I, I tend to store mine in a basket upright, but this is fine. 
these are flexible to 50% if you're gonna bend them more that actually will break them so you want to be very careful with that okay um, here's our triple layer and with the flexion poles now I have noticed that I've never actually had a problem with breakage with the wooden poles now I know that there's no flex um, so these are flexed to 20% these will break and they are breaking so here's a little tip about how to how to manage your flags so that they will last the longest and a lot of it's in the storage now I'm a very fast flagger so I do have to be careful and if you are whacking things around and you have and there's a, a little bit less space maybe go a little bit easier because if you are going really hard the there's probably a physical a physics term about that about the the momentum and how some how hard something hits but you create such a force that it'll actually snap and um, so if you if that act does happen my flags or anybody else's feel free to contact me about repair I'm happy to do that but so this is the way that I fold all of the flags and if you have a single layer flags or double or, or triple so here is you can see the triple layer flags are nested so the outer layer is 54 inches 52 and 50 so I put the two layers together so that the that the smallest layers are the, on the inside so you can see you'll know that with catch the fire worship flags because of the because of the label so the labels are on the outside then I grab whichever if you're right-handed or left-handed if you're left-handed it would be probably you'd be feel more comfortable the other way so you're going to grab all of the layers right just like that so we've got the the outer middle inner and then you go the alternate for the other flag the middle the inner middle and outer okay I hold it kind of like that okay smooth that out oh, this, and then I roll it up so that way they stay nice and secure and I don't typically I know it comes with a tie I don't actually typically put the tie on but you can um, but here's then you have this and it stays really nice uh, so that would be the easiest way and if you have more than one I highly recommend a flag bag we had some I can recommend some makers also a little cheap the cheap trick is I've always used actually a the flag bag uh, I've altered my lawn chair you know the fold-up lawn chairs they come in a pouch either a zipper or a pouch and they tend to be exactly the right size that we need so that's these flags the other flags really just practice storing them so these are the, the silks they always come for from me they come in organza bags and swing flags these are great because they actually put in you can easily put them in your bag but also just having them protected even if they are in your bag that it doesn't that they don't wrinkle quite so much it's just a matter of folding something and, and keeping it together so that they last a lot longer also because the silks they can be washed I'm ultimately kind of lazy so I don't want to have to wash all my things if I don't have to so if I look after them then I then I've never had to the travel flags if you happen to have them and the poles the poles sorry here the poles will come like this there is elastics on them I would actually put them together otherwise you have these pieces going so just keep the elastics and then your travel fl flags will be folded up like this um, and it's just an easy way you can to keep them together so that it protects them and keeps them looking fresher nicer longer and that is today's tip if you like the content that you're watching with the weekly or anything else I encourage you to follow us everywhere we're on Instagram Pinterest YouTube and of course Facebook like our page we'll put the links there's different and fresh content on all of the different platforms so you're if you follow one you're not gonna get the same on everything else so have a great day guys we'll see you in the group the gratitude challenge 
Anything else that I forgot, I'll just add it to this list. Hey, from uh, South Africa. I just sold some flags to South Africa. Hey, Antoinette. Uh, bless you guys. I love you. I'm so grateful for you. I'm going to add that to the face, the Firecatchers Gratitude Challenge. I'm so grateful for the Firecatchers. Love you guys. Bye.